Welcome back to Old War Stories with Uncle Jay. This one is entitled, Leading Edge. Well, I guess that's better than Trailing Edge. Uh, so what's Leading Edge? Uh, Leading Edge, back in my heyday, was a brand of computer that was marketed. And I don't know who actually made it or what the deal was, but it was one of these, as they called it, clone machines uh this was in the windows 3.1 to maybe windows 95 days so we're talking about 1993 to 97 somewhere in that neck of the woods when you live on long island and you're jewish where do you go to get a computer? LaBelle! LaBelle was a computer store, or actually not a computer store, but they sold computers. LaBelle, and where is this computer store when you're Jewish? Why, in Syosset, New York! A big Jewish community! What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> The better question is what could possibly go right. Uh, my sister used to do babysitting um, and somehow found these people. Don't know who, how, why, where, when. They were right in the neighborhood and she would babysit their kids. Then when a computer came along, she said, my brother does computers. Oh, okay, maybe he would be good. So then they paid me for my services. Did I know then what I know now? Not even close. But again, the computer field was not what it is today. Um, back then, I mean, we're dealing with, around this time, maybe early Pentium systems, something. I think like late 486s or early Pentiums is what it was. And these people were Jewish, and I'm Jewish, you know, I've told this story. And... LaBelle has a computer, look! twelve ninety nine. I don't know what the price was. Let's go! So they wanted a computer. Nobody had a computer in these days. It was early on. So they said, all right, we're going to get a computer. I take a ride with them to LaBelle. And he's talking to the guy. And uh, he says, uh, what about this $12.99? You don't want that. Had an accent. Yeah. LaBelle was a computer store, I'm sorry, a camera store that sold computers. Everything they sold was sort of gray market goods. In other words, not black market, so it wasn't stolen, but not white market, so it wasn't retail. So it was this off-brand, don't know where it came from, don't know anything about it. Very shady. They did their own repairs there on computers story with the whiff and that uh that's another thing and their computers and labelle because they had the price he says you don't want that let me show you computer this one here has these the guy's israeli you don't you don't do business with israelis I'm saying this because I'm Jewish, so I can. Don't. Even if you're Jewish, don't. It's got these specs, and the guy says to me, what do you think? I said, oh, it's comparable. But I don't know, this brand is... Show me something else. Well, I got this one here, but uh, it's... You're better off with that one. <laughs> sure. So we go back to that one. What do you think? Is this guy on the ball? I said, well, I mean, the specs are the specs. 
can't fudge that. I mean, you know, if it doesn't have what he says it has, what the sign says it has, then it gets returned and they have to give you your money back because... Well, heh. Yeah. Uh, all the Jews in the neighborhood had the leading edge. Why? Because it was the leading edge. Why would you want anything that was not the leading edge in computers? But guess what? The leading edge really was the trailing edge. Ever hear of Intel inside? Yeah, this was Cyrix inside. <laughs> I don't remember the specs or anything like that, but here was the fiasco with that. So anyway, he's looking and he's kind of hemming and hawing the guy, you know. And he's like, well... You know, what do you think? I said, well, you know, like I said, if the specs are what he says, then I guess it's a deal. Then the Judaism comes out. So the guy goes to the salesman guy, who is, by the way, drinking a coffee right on the floor, right on the sales floor, like not a give a shit in the world. This is the kind of place this was. And I sort I appreciate that to a degree. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta play the game with your customers. Like if you're drinking a coffee there and a customer says, you know, hey, I need some help, oh absolutely, and you put your coffee down and you give them your undivided attention, that's one thing. But if you're actively drinking your coffee while you're assisting them, unless the only exception to that is if the customer is holding their own coffee they're like yeah coffee man right yeah you know and you both drink up then it's cool that's fine but otherwise no way but this guy just not a not a fuck given but then the judaism comes out so he says um to the guy he sort of takes him aside and now, instead of, uh, so tell me about this computer voice, he says, Is this a good computer? In other words, we're both Jews telling me the truth. Are you selling me shit? No, it's a good computer. Yeah, but he's Israeli, so it didn't matter. And it came with a monitor, a color monitor, that was a thing, you know. And it came with a, a color printer. We didn't have inkjet back in these days, so it was a color dot matrix printer. An Epson color dot matrix printer. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> that was a bad move. <laughs> okay. Um, we have to get it ready for you. What do you mean? Oh, it'll take about, I don't know, 45 minutes an hour. It's not just a box that you grab off the shelf and give to the customer. Because that's not the kind of place this was. It didn't come in a leading edge box. It came in a cardboard box that said LaBelle. It was a leading edge branded case and you got the leading edge documentation with it but the documentation did not specify the specifications of the machine it was just a general you know this is your floppy drive this is the power button your general information about the machine that's all it was so it was a leading edge machine but as far as the specs in the flyer, which that was not the one he walked out with. Of course, they sold him a more expensive one, but it was a better machine. It was supposed to be 40 megahertz. So I guess this was in the 486 days, if I recall. Um, okay. We get the machine. Oh, you had to wait. Why? Well, if it was going to come with 32 megabytes of RAM, the machines from Leading Edge, they didn't come with 32 mega RAM. 
So these guys had bootleg chips or just whatever shit they could get their hands on that would upgrade this machine. And they just try chip after chip after chip until it comes up 32 meg like you're buying. So you got the cheapest shit. If it was supposed to have an upgraded hard drive or something, then they would put in a shitty old used drive or something, format it quick and load a copy of bullshit on it. And it was Windows 3.1, so it really didn't take that long to install. Uh, I don't know if it even went off of floppies back then. Maybe I guess it had a CD-ROM or something, if that was even on CD-ROM. or I, I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time. Really long time. You get the machine home, and now it's my job to set it up. Okay, let's start opening the boxes. So, they had a kid, like I said, because my sister would babysit from them. And here's the box for the Epson Color Printer. The Dot Matrix Color Printer. Um, it's taped in the center, so you use a razor blade. Now, they gave it to the kid. And the kid just dug her hand inside the flap sort of kind of thing and just tore the fucking cardboard of this box like it's opening a fucking Christmas present on Christmas Day, even though they were Jewish. I mean, just tore that shit open like the box is complete garbage. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. This shit's probably going back. You can't do that. This shit's got to go back. <laughs> Guess what? The whole machine went back. Twice. <laughs> um, 40 megahertz, right? Yeah. I pop in my disc, my diagnostics, 33 megahertz. I said, this ain't no 40. Uh, well, I guess we got to go back. I said, well, let's see about the rest. You know, this way we don't have to go back twice. <laughs> the printer was not a color printer. It was an Epson color printer with... There was a black and white dot matrix printer with a color kit. And you had to install the motor that would shift the ribbon and the color ribbon. So I followed the directions, and I did. But the printer was new defective. When it would print and it would try to shift the ribbon, it would get jammed up in there and then the whole printer would just... And it would just seize. And then I said, well, you know, maybe I fucked up. It's possible, right? So I take the ribbon out, I redo it, and spin the ribbon over a couple, turn it back on, go to print again. Jams up. I said, this shit's got to go back. And the computer's got to go back because... It's saying 33, you were sold a 40 megahertz machine. So we go back. Uh, hey, we got a big problem here. Well, they were expecting this, or rather they were hoping you were just a dumb American and didn't know the difference. The printer is one thing, because the printer was just... I don't think that was really their doing or their fault. Maybe they threw the color kit in the box, you know, uh, because it had the capability and they got these color kits from overseas or something. I don't know. Uh, but the machine was still 33 megahertz. It took four tech guys there. And I said, well, the disc that I have right here says it's 33 megahertz. And there was no BIOS that would tell you in those days what the speed of the processor was. It just, it wasn't around. So you had to rely on these diagnostic programs. And I had Check It Diagnostics, which was like the top end stuff. That's what you used back in the day. Well, no, 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 they had their own program. I said... Let me see. Show me what's on the screen. And the guy says, look, it's 66. 
it's even faster. You got a better machine. I said, that's not what my program says. Run it. It came up 33. Now, could my program have been off? Mm, I trust it more than their software. Um, if finally, by the fourth tech guy, they were closing up shop for the night at this point. By the fourth tech guy, he ran a program that said 80. I said, okay, listen, 66, 80, 50, I got 33, what's the deal? He says, no, what you do is you take this 80 and you divide it in half and that's the megahertz. And at this point, the fight had gone on so long, okay, fine, I give up. Uh, printer's defective. We don't have any more. Really? You mean, really you just ran out today? I don't fucking think so. Fix this one. And they looked at it, and yeah, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, it's fucked up. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, it's bad. We can give you another printer for the same price. We got this Citizen one here. I said, Citizen? What are you fucking kidding? Epson was the name in dot matrix printers. What the, the first IBM personal computer printers were rebadged Epsons. They were like pioneers in this shit. Now, was Citizen around? Absolutely. They were another Japanese company, you know, that made stuff. But a Citizen printer? What really? I mean, I've heard of them, but. Epson was the name. HP didn't have dot matrix printers, but, you know, you had Star and Okidata and a bunch of other names that were out there back in the day, but fucking Citizen? Well, it's color. Look, it's even faster. It does 210 characters per second instead of 200. So they ended up with a machine that was falsified, and a subpar printer because they were Jewish and went to LaBelle in Syosset on Long Island. I don't know how many wrongs were committed in that entire thing. Flip side, many years later, around 2000, doing work for a new client of mine, have this old computer, I want to get a new one, what do you recommend? Dell was the brand to go with. I had one for two years at that point, that was the deal. Um, I said, Dell is what you want. Okay, let's see. I said, well, we could do it right online. We can look at what they have, if they had a dial-up connection, uh, and then you would call. I don't know if you would order online quite in those days or not, whatever it was, but... Regardless, called up. Hi, I'm looking at the dimension, whatever the model, or the dementia, whatever the model was, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, uh, I want this much RAM, I want this hard drive, I want this monitor, I want that sound card, I want that video card, I want a DVD drive, I want this, that, and that. Okay, fully configured, it comes out to X amount of dollars. Good, good. Okay, let's have your credit card number. And it came. And she called me up. She said, okay, the computer was delivered. I need you to set it up. Sure. So I came over and I took everything out of the box. And wouldn't you know that the specs that I ordered were exactly what the machine said it was? The printer that was ordered was exactly the one and they didn't try to substitute other bullshit and the machine was set up and plugged in and I hit the power button for the very first time in that machine's life in home use because obviously it was tested before it left and it turned on and it just booted up and just plain worked. 
That's why you don't go to LaBelle. I don't know if they're still around. I think they went out of business and then they came back into business and all that kind of stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a bad place to go. Um, I have mixed emotions about places that are run by Jews. And I can only say this because I'm Jewish. B&H Photo in New York City. Now, they're a big company. And there's not the kind of fuck around that went on back in the day at LaBelle. But they seem to often have below retail prices on things. And I would not be surprised if there are some gray market goods that are being sold as new when they're actually refurbished. And considering the fact that this place is not even open on Saturday and closes early on Friday, yeah. Um, there might be, and I don't know this for a fact, because they're a big place, and I know a lot of camera buffs get their shit from them. And they're, I'm not saying they're bad, but I'm saying that run by Hasidic Jews and I bet there's a lot of shady shit going on under the counter. Anyway, that's it. That was the story of LaBelle and the computer. Oh, by the way, that Citizen printer, I have it. The printhead shit itself. It's dead. I don't know why I still have it. If I could source a replacement, that would be nice because it was... It actually worked fairly decently, believe it or not, but yeah, it broke. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.